This is probably the most famous math book in Latin American countries, and I didn't know that when I bought it. And this book is incredible. It has the hardest math problems ever. Like for an algebra book, I have not seen anything that is used today that is this difficult. And this is still being used today. It's Algebra Baldor. Yeah, that's right. This is awesome. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the actual mathematics in this book because you're probably going to understand it because it's very basic, but the problems themselves are just really, really messy. All right, let's look inside this awesome book. Sorry, I just have to smell it. My copy smells, it smells amazing. This is probably one of the best smelling books I have. And I don't know if it's just my copy or if it's this book in general. Oh, just incredible. Here is the inside of the book, Algebra, Dr. Aurelio Baldor. And here it basically says that the book contains 6,523 exercises with answers. That's right, so you get the answers to all of the exercises. Let's jump ahead and look at some of the math in this book. This appears to be an exercise set where we're supposed to factor. So let's look at this, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, I mean, completely insane. So we have 117 problems here, okay? 117 problems, let's turn the page. No, no, 134. Then you have some more knowledge. So here, you know, he explains the mathematics. He does a really, really good job. And then here we have 62 more problems. I mean, it's just completely insane. And notice the difficulty level. You know, they're, they're starting to get a little bit more challenging. I mean, factoring like number 60 there, I mean, it's not the easiest problem in the world, you know, these problems are starting to get really tough. Here's a look at the answers, so you see that this book actually has answers to every single problem, which makes it amazing. This book is insane, I think this is a wonderful book. It turns out that this book has a reputation, right? It, it is really probably the most famous book uh, in, in many Latin American countries. It's super, super popular. By the way, Baldor has other books. I don't own any of the other books because these books are actually, um, depending on where you live, a little bit uh, more expensive. I can imagine that if someone were to buy this book and actually you know, sit down and work through some of these exercises, that they would become extremely good at algebra. I mean, these problems are pretty nuts. I mean, look at this. We have an equation here. X plus six over X plus two minus X plus one over X minus three equals x minus 5 over x minus 1 minus x over x plus 4. Wow. And I guess we just have to solve. Yeah. Look at all of these exercises. Just nuts. So let's talk about the worst thing about this book. So the worst thing about this book, if you're watching this video and you don't speak Spanish, is that this book is in Spanish, right? So if you don't speak Spanish, you might be asking yourself, why in the world would you buy a math book in another language, right, in Spanish? I actually have a few math books uh, in French, and I have some in German as well, um, which is really cool. And I don't read French or German, but I, I do have the books because I collect uh, math books. But this book in particular, um, one of the things I like about this book, and this is the actual reason that I bought this book, is if you go to the beginning of the book, so this is why I bought it, and it's kind of a reason that might shock you. So right here it says classes de polynomials, right? So it's, I believe that's classes of polynomials, right? And then so it goes through here and you see how it has uh, words in bold, right, in Spanish. So those are the words in Spanish for things in math, right? So, so I speak Spanish, but I don't know all of the math words. And so I wanted a book that would teach me, um, you know, how to, how to learn the math words, because I have a YouTube channel in Spanish, by the way. Subscribe, it's uh, Math Sorcerer Espanol. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description if I remember, but yeah, check it out. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is just an awesome book, and I've read parts of it, and it's helped me learn, like, a lot of words. Like, I didn't know that word meant that, you know? So I think that's pretty cool. So you could actually learn Spanish, or at least learn math in Spanish, um, with a book like this. What really blew me away after I got this book and I posted a video of it on my other channel was how popular this book was. Everyone's saying that this is the number one book and it's like the most popular book. Everyone has heard of the Baldor books. I only have this one and um, Algebra Baldor, but there are other ones you can get. So I have yet to get those. But yeah, the problems here are insane. I do not know how hard the problems are in the other books, but I can imagine since this book is like this, the other books must also be pretty awesome. By the way, the author of this book is super famous, Aurelio Baldor. He was a Cuban mathematician, educator, and lawyer. 
and he taught in Cuba and in Mexico for a short time, and then in the United States. So, um, you know, a very well-traveled guy, and this is his most famous book. Like, this is his most famous work. This book was actually first published in 1941. That's a long time ago, and it's still, like, it's still being used today. I'm trying to think of, of an algebra book, right, in the English-speaking world, like, you know, uh, from, like, let's just say the U.S., right, um, that was published, you know, in that era that's still being used today, and I don't think, I don't think there's such a thing, right? So this book really just, you know, stood the test of time um, as it's still being used today. My copy is especially cool because it smells so good. It just has, like, this, like, scented, you know, cologne or perfume, and I don't know what's going on with this book, but I love it. I have a pre-calculus book that smells wonderful too. Some of the techniques in this book are techniques that you might have never seen. I saw some stuff in this book when I was reading it where I thought, wow, that's pretty clever. That's a, a really cool little algebra trick, or oh, I didn't really think of that that way. So, you know, there's some interesting examples, you know, throughout the book. And the fact you have so many challenging exercises, that means you're going to be exposed to, you know, a lot of things that you just, you just don't find in other books, right? You don't find... Oh, look at this. Look at this. It has, it has determinants, right? Because this is, yeah, this is Kramer's rule. So they're using Kramer's rule on a three by three system. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool uh, for a book that starts, you know, at the very, very basic. Oh, look at these. These look fun. Look at all these equations with roots. This is really nice. You have all these examples that you can work through and you have all of the answers, which makes it really nice. So plenty here with two square roots, right? And then we have three square roots, okay. Yeah, they're, they're getting, they're getting, oh, look at that. We have, you know, we have variables in there, A and B, just to make it even, you know, more confusing. <laughs> these can get really fun. I've done several of these problems from this actual exercise set, uh, exercise set 181. I've done a couple of these and um, yeah, yeah, they, they, get, they get significantly more challenging, right? So you start here like with number one, and you can see right away that you can add them, right? So you get x plus x, which is 2x, y plus negative y, which is 0. So you get 2x equals 2a, and then you can go from there, right? So solve for x. But they, they do get significantly more challenging, as you can see. And look over here. Look at these. Yeah, these are really fun. Really, really fun problems. So it's a good source of challenging algebra problems. And then you get the answers, too which I think is just ridiculous. This is so cool. What is going on here? This is really nice. Look at that. Talk about complex fractions, right? So if you ever felt rusty with your complex fractions, you could attack some of these problems. <laughs> That's fun. So I should talk about the readability of this book because I have read portions of this book. So it's in Spanish and the book is very to the point and very direct. Um, I'm not saying it's terse. I mean, it, it might be, it might be terse, but I don't feel it's terse because obviously I know, you know, algebra. So when I read the book, it's like more about, you know, what, what is it trying to say in Spanish? What does the word mean in Spanish? Um, so for me, that's, that's the challenge, right? Learning the new words. But for someone who is just learning algebra, um, I would say it's just very to the point. The examples themselves, are pretty good, right? He has pretty good examples. Um, you know, a lot of times um, what I would do when I was working through this book is I would look at the example and work it out on my own and then and then look at his solution, you know, to check my work. Um, and I noticed a lot of times that my solution was different from the solution in the book. So I'm not saying it's a bad solution. I'm just saying, you know, the book did it a way that I chose not to do it. So certainly not a perfect book. Uh, and it's certainly a very challenging book, as you can see. So um, people, um, a lot of people dread this book, right? It's like it causes, you know, fear, right? I mean, think about this. Imagine if you had to take a class. Like, imagine, go back in time. Like, if you already know algebra, go back to when you first started, like, learning algebra, right? And imagine, like, if this was your book. <laughs> so, like, so your test questions, you know, would probably just come straight from the, ho from the homework problems, right? Because, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And when, when you're just learning, I mean, that's nuts, right? That's hard for people. So, yeah, I, I, it really takes its toll. But I think uh, anyone who, um, I would imagine, even just survives a course with this book uh, would come out much, much stronger than when they came in, right? Because, 
I mean, this is, this is serious stuff here. Complex numbers, look at that, that's pretty cool. So they go through, um, looks like the proof that if you do a plus bi, right, because that's i, times a minus bi, you're gonna get a squared plus b squared. Looks like that's what they're doing here uh, with all of this, so pretty cool. Except they don't actually call it i here when they do it. Nice, complex numbers. There's Leonard Euler. 1707 to 1783. And it tells you a little bit about the great Leonard Euler. And it does that at the beginning of each chapter. So it'll have like, you know, a mathematician. Here we have Niels Henrik Abel. Cool, right? Overall, I think this is a really good book. Um, I think it's great. I mean, if you speak Spanish, it's definitely worth getting. Um, if you don't speak Spanish, I mean, if you want a book that has interesting algebra problems with solutions, then yeah, it's worth getting. Or if you're trying to learn Spanish, this would definitely help, I think. Especially with the math part, um, that's exactly why I bought it, just to simply learn um, the words in uh, Spanish. And there are other books um, by this author, but I don't own them. I only own this one. I don't remember how much I paid for this book, but it was not um, super inexpensive. And I think it's because um, it's in Spanish. Typically I've found that, at least in the US, if you're buying books in Spanish, I mean, you can still get them at good prices, right? It's just you can't get them for like $5 or $10. You're gonna have to pay like 20 or 30 or something. I don't remember how much I paid for this one, but there are other ones and I haven't bought them yet because you know they do cost some money. So I will leave links to all of his books in the description. I have not looked at the other books, but I'm assuming that they're very similar. Um, maybe I'll get them someday. And this one is just insane. So if they're anything like this one, that's pretty cool. Anyways, just a random video on a math book in Spanish. I just wanted to show you all this awesome book. Until next time, good luck. Oh, if you are not a subscriber, uh, consider subscribing. So hit subscribe if you want to. Also, um, you can follow me on Instagram, um, the Real Math Sorcerer or Real Math Sorcerer. I don't remember which one it is, but I'll leave it in the description. I think it's Real Math Sorcerer. Yeah, I think it's what it is. Until next time, good luck. Take care.